Hi everybody, today I'm going to be talking about the health benefits of bitter melon and chayote. So chayote grows in South America and in the Caribbean. It's very popular in Mexico. A lot of Mexican people eat this and people in South America eat this. And it has a kind of cucumber-like taste. It can be eaten raw or you can cook it. It is good for losing weight and lowering cholesterol. It's good for your heart. It helps prevent heart disease. It lowers high blood pressure and has a, a wide variety of other uh, health benefits as well. So it helps to prevent cancer. It is anti-cancer and it helps have a, helps you have healthy digestion within your body. So it, it's a good source of vitamins as well. It has vitamins B6, vitamin C, vitamin K, zinc. It also has zinc. Uh, it has folate and other vitamins as well. So like I said before, it's anti-cancer. It's good for your heart and good for your digestive system. And so a lot of people, they um, like in South America and the Caribbean and stuff, they kind of make a they kind of cook it they add cheese on top of it or they add rice like a kind of rice and cheese thing and people cook it in many different ways um, it can be added to a lot of dishes a lot of uh, cooked dishes and you can prepare it in numerous ways you can also drink it uh, it has a very mild flavor it's not very strong so it doesn't really overpower anything when you're when you're cooking with it it doesn't really overpower anything in the dish it has a good source of vitamin C and is also very good for your immune system. We also call it Christophine. Bitter melon. There's two different types of bitter melon that are really popular. I have this type here. It also grows in um, in South America and Caribbean and all that. It's really popular in Caribbean islands and in, in places like Mexico and Belize and all that. People eat bitter melon. And... In terms of health health benefits, like I said before, it's anti-cancer. It is um, good for your heart. It's good for your respiratory system, and it provides like a lot of fiber. It has vitamins A, C, K, and uh, potassium and zinc. It is also uh, beneficial. Like f it's good for. Um, helping fight diabetes and all that and it increases cellular uptake of glucose so it improves glycemic control and it it can also um it also has benefits like for your skin it can reduce acne and all of that it's good for cleansing your system good for weight loss and good to improve if you're female good to improve fertility if you're having any issues with the PCOS and all that, uh, PCOS and any kind of fertility issues. It's good to eat things like this because it's good for cleansing your system and all of that. You can cut it up in a salad. You can you can cook with it. You can make a smoothie out of it and, and add or add it to your smoothies. You can make a, a juice, kind of like a juice with it. You can add lemon and stuff. It depends on what you want to make, right? But it's, it's very versatile and you can add it to all sorts of dishes and drinks and things. Bitter melon karaili in Trinidad, we call it karaili. And um, people sometimes fry it. Like I said before, they add it to drinks and all that. You can add it to cooked dishes as well. It's anti-cancer. It's good for your hair and your skin. It's good if you want to lose weight. It's good to eat stuff like this if you want to lose weight and cleanse your system and detox. Sometimes, you know, when we're consuming uh, certain foods that aren't really, that are very processed over long periods of time, they can kind of affect our body internally. And, uh, you know, our liver has to work harder to, to get the toxins out, these tox toxins out of our body because we've been consuming all this junk uh, time and time again so it kind of builds up and your liver has to work harder kidneys and everything has to filter out all the junk and process things uh, harder so when you consume things like this you know karaili bitter melon and 
and do your detox and your green smoothies and all that it really helps to get rid of anything that you've picked up along the way that you have built up in your system that you want to kind of get out of your system so that you are healthier all like overall your, your health is good and your immune system is strong so yeah we we eat stuff like this down in the islands a lot we eat these these vegetables down in the islands a lot and um for the health benefits and also just as part of our cuisine and part of our like these things grow in the tropics so they're easily available um in south america and the caribbean so yeah we like to eat this and cook with this and drink it as well because of its health benefits and because it tastes it tastes okay like some people don't like the taste but i find it doesn't these things don't taste too bad